keys on a pothole road in southern Ethiopia is an unexpected sight. Vineyards bursting with Merlot, Syrah and Chardonnay grapes ripening in the African sun. The scene is more reminiscent of France's Beaujolais region than this corner of the Horn of Africa, which for many still conjures images of famine, poverty and war. We have a vision. Uh, Ethiopia will have a uh, hope for light industries, for labor-intensive light industries in Africa. French beverage giant Castel bottled its first batch of Ethiopian wine this year. The company has been in the country since 1998 when it purchased state-owned brewer San George. Castel ventured into wine in 2008, investing $27 million, setting up Ethiopia's first foreign-owned vineyard. Our target is really to, 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 uh, to, to, to propose this uh, wine to the Ethiopian people and uh, with good quality, good price uh, and so on. Castel aims to sell half of this year's production of 1.2 million bottles to the domestic market and half to Ethiopians living abroad. And there have been some surprise buyers, including a Chinese businessman who snapped up 24,000 bottles. People are quite proud to see that uh, French companies are bringing the best of their technology and knowledge uh, to Ethiopia. Um, so I, I, think, I really think the image of Ethiopia is changing very much. Ethiopia's growth rate is already among Africa's highest, hitting 8.2% last year. That's according to the International Monetary Fund. Government hopes wine can further boost its image abroad as it aims to attract more foreign investment.